to turn on and turn off this motor i have this starter is used when i press start push button motor is turned on on pressing stop push button motor is turned off now i want this motor to be operated from a distance so through this video we are going to learn for this starter how remote control wiring can be done for this motor what i need to do is this another start and stop push button starter is to be connected with this one connection for this is very simple take a cable which has total 3 wires this means you have to use 3 wires for remote control wiring so here i opened this start and stop push button with this start push button no element is used and with the stop push button nc element is used now what you have to do is take this cable and insert in this box among these three wires take one wire and with this nc element connect this wire so here i connected this wire take another wire and with this no element connect the wire with one contact so i am connecting at this point the wire which is left now is to be connected at output terminal of no contact this means one wire was connected at output terminal and one is connected at input terminal in this wiring we done till now you can see that at nc element only one wire is connected which is at input side after this what you have to do is in this element at the output terminal connect a small loop of wire take other end of the wire and provide input supply to no element means connect the wire here at this point so in this way looping will be done now in this cable take the other end of cable and connect with this main controller for this i am opening the controller after controller is open you can see here is our starter and to operate the starter here are start and stop push button and contact of these buttons are present here you have to take this cable and it is to be connected with these push buttons in the wiring of this controller don't make any changes so let's insert this cable here at this nc contact here the input supply to nc contact is given through red wire so take this red wire and connect with the nc contact here this means at the output terminal of nc contact you have to connect this wire in this way from this stop push button the output supply will first go to start push button and from here it will be further supplied and received in the green wire take this green wire and connect with output terminal of no contact we are connecting at output terminal because the power supply which comes to this point will be further supplied through yellow wire to start the contactor directly so take this wire and in no contact connect the wire at output terminal so i am connecting the wire at this point now through this black wire we have to provide input power supply to no contact first remove this wire which is already connected and now this wire will be connected in place of this the wire which was connected earlier is for holding circuit so this wire is to be connected at the same point from this point to this the wire which was already looped needs to be removed because we are separately using start and stop push button now this wire which goes for holding circuit is to be connected at four number point also to turn on or turn off the starter from a distance all the connections are completed let's pack up this after this we will understand this through circuit diagram in total we have two stop push button so i am symbolizing two stop push buttons here after this we had two start push button if we have to do wiring then what you have to do simply is the phase supply will come to stop push button firstly provide power supply to stop push button after this power supply will further move to another stop push button the power supply from here will go to input terminal of start push button from this point loop a wire and to another start push button provide input power supply output terminals are left so let's short these terminals means loop a wire with these terminals then from here take a wire and to coil of contactor provide power supply to a1 terminal and at a2 terminal you have to provide neutral power supply so connections of both stop push buttons is done and for both start push buttons is also done for no contact you have to do the connections for no contact what you have to do simply is connect this in parallel with start push button take a wire from input terminal of start push button and provide input supply to no contact the power supply come from no contact is to be connected at output terminal of start push button 
In this way, we have to perform all the connections. All the connections according to circuit diagram is already done. Now in this main starter I have, you can see the start push button. I am pressing this button. On pressing the button, motor is started. Now I have to stop this motor. So I am pressing this push button. On pressing this button, you can see motor is turned off. Now I am turning on the motor by this button. And on pressing this button, motor turns off. This means we can say that from any place we want to turn on this motor or to turn off this motor, we can easily do this. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.